Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about some or solve some Boyle's Law example problems. Let's go over some abbreviations you may see. ATM is for atmosphere. Millimeters of mercury is for uh, pressure. Tor is another name for pressure. Uh, it's another name for millimeters of mercury. And then liter is a volume measurement. We'll use the formula P1 times V1 equals P2 V2. Now, you could rewrite Boyle's law. Remember, Boyle's law says that as pressure goes up, volume goes down, and the other way around. So you could rewrite it. Pressure times volume is equal to K, and K is a proportionality constant. Okay? So a lot of times with Boyle's law, you're comparing things. And so you have a before and an after. The before would be P1 times V1 equals K, and then the second or the afterwards would be P2 times P2. So what you can do, since they're both set to K, you can just set it to P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. So for all the problems we're getting ready to work, you can use this formula. Then all you do is just plug and figure out the answer. So let's get started with the very first one after that introduction. Okay, so let's get started. It says 2 liters, remember that's volume of gas, is at 740 millimeters of mercury. So that is pressure. What is the volume at 760 uh, millimeters of mercury? So let's set this up. We have P1 times P2. Ah, excuse me. What am I doing? P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2. Sorry about that little problem there at the beginning. So now what we need to do is identify what we have and then solve for the missing variable. So we have two liters, so that's volume, so I'm going to write two liters, okay, and it says it's at 740 millimeters of mercury, so 740 mmHg, okay, equals, you have a volume, you're looking for volume, but you have 760, uh, so you have another pressure reading, 760 times, and we're looking, that will be our X for volume, okay? So we have everything set up. Now all we do is we divide each side by 760, okay? And I'm writing my units of measure in there. These cancel, so that gives you X is equal to, now all we do is solve this. And I have my calculator here. So I'm going to go 740 times 2, and that equals 1480. The pressure uh, units cancel, okay? And so now all we have to do is divide the 1480 by 760, and that is 1480 divided by 760 is equal to 1... 947 and our unit of measure is liters so the answer is 1.947 liters okay so that's the first one let's look at our next problem but before we go to our next problem let's recap what we did we went ahead and wrote p1 742 is the volume p2 is 760 the volume is missing. We divided both sides by 760. We took 740 times 2, that's 1480, and then we divided that by 760, and that gave us 1.947. And the unit, since it is asking for volume, is liters. So that's kind of a recap. Let's look at the next problem. Okay, this one is very similar. We have 3 liters of a gas is at the pressure of 740 um, millimeters of mercury, what is the volume at standard pressure? Well, standard pressure is 760, okay, if you didn't know that. So, let's set it up. We've got P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. So now, let's just plug in what we have. We have a volume of 3 liters. We have a pressure of 740 40 mmHg, 
I know that's a little messy, and that equals to we're trying to find volume, and we have a pressure of 760 mmHgs. Okay, so now what we do is we divide each side by 760 millimeters of mercury. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and you'll see these cancel, the units of measure cancel. You're going to be left with liters. Now what I do is I take 740 times 3. 740 times 3 equals 2,220. Okay, and I'm going to divide that by 760, and that gives me an answer of 2.9. Two, one. What is my unit of measure? It is liters. It is volume. But now let's see if this makes sense. Let's see if it is indeed an inverse relationship. Well, the standard is greater than the 740. So pressure is going up. And yes, volume did go down just a little bit. Let's look at the next problem, please. Okay, a gas occupies 12.3 liters at a pressure of 40 millimeters of mercury. What is the volume when the pressure is increased to 60? Okay, so let's set this up. P1 times V1 equals P2 V2. Remember this works also if you're looking for pressure. You just plug in what you have. You have 12.3 liters. Okay, you have a pressure of 40 and I'm just going to put Hg for mercury. And that is equal to, you have a pressure of 60, and you are trying to find what the volume is, okay? So now we divide each side by 60, okay? Units cancel, you're left with liters. Uh, these cancel out. I take 40 times 12.3. And that equals 492 over 60, and 492 times 60 is equal to 8.2. What is my unit of measure? It's looking for volume, and volume is liters. Okay, now let's see if this makes sense. The pressure is increasing and the volume is going down to 8.2. Let's work one more final problem. Okay, here's our problem. final problem. If a gas is at 25 degrees Celsius and it occupies 360 liters at a pressure of one atmosphere, what will be its volume at a pressure of 2.5 atmospheres? Okay, one, the 25 centimeters, you don't really need that. That just tells you what the temperature is. It's not going to go in the formula P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2. So again, we just kind of plug in what we have. Well, we have a volume of 3.6 liters, okay? And then we have a pressure of one atmosphere, and that is going to be equal to a pressure of 2.5 atmosphere, ATM. I need to write ATM here, okay? Uh, times and we're trying to find volume okay so now what we do is we just divide through by 2.5 atms okay these units cancel these cancel i take one times 3.6 i think i can do that math in my head divided by 2.5 and that is going to give us um can't do it that math that quick in my head 2.5 that gives us 1.44 and what is the unit of measure it is liters let's check to see if this makes sense the it went from 3.6 to 2.5 so it actually went down so pressure went down so that means volume has to go up and the volume went from 1 to 1.44 so that makes sense I hope these helps, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.